Hey guys, Tommy Gantz here. Hey, I got a great email question I want to answer for you today. It's from Nelson Q, and Nelson asks, what technique can I use to stop my hitters from dropping their back shoulder? Well, Nelson, that's a great question, and players of all ages continue to fight that today. The good news is I've got the answer for you. I've got something that's going to give you immediate, quick, dramatic results. You're going to be real impressed. Okay, let's get right to it. Why is your player dropping his back shoulder? Most of the time, it's because, and Nelson, you may be teaching your players to do this, you'll hear coaches tell their players, swing level, swing level, swing swing level. And when a player tries to swing level, you'll notice it's very easy to drop the backside and kind of hit up through the baseball. But that's not, you shouldn't be teaching them to swing level. When you swing in a baseball, you should be swinging downward. If you'll notice all your collegiate, your major league hitters, when they swing in a baseball, their front leg is locked straight, their back leg is like in an L. It's because they're driving downward to the baseball. So for your young players, Nelson, you didn't say how young your players were, but for your very young players, I use the terminology chop down. Just get them used to chopping straight down to the baseball. For you older players, we just use the terminology swing down, swing down to the ball. But when you find that when you swing down to the baseball, it's pretty difficult for my shoulder to drop backwards when it's driving downward at the baseball. So when you swing at a baseball, you want to learn to drive down to the baseball and you, it'll be almost impossible for your shoulder to drop. And you'll find that your players won't be lifting the ball and hitting lazy fly balls. They'll be hitting nice hard line drives. So Nelson, I know that's going to work for you remember swing down